Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, this is my first time. Well, my first time here was last week, and I enjoyed the energy so much. I wanted to come back. Awesome. Thank you for clapping, but please stop because that cuts into my five minutes. <laughs> Um, I'm a stand-up comic by trade, but I'm also a writer, and I do a weekly blog, uh, usually a humor blog, but it's really just my therapy. Uh, it's called The Urban Irma, and I'd like to uh, read a piece for you that I hope you guys enjoy. It's called Set of a Black Woman. <laughs> so I'm standing in line at the dollar store waiting to pay. I'm dutifully looking at all the impulse, item, impulse items that were put there to get my attention. And that's when I saw my favorite, the display of cheap perfume body sprays. I expected the usual plastic bottle assortment of vanilla, coconut, strawberry, but the bottle that caught and held my attention was a scent I'd never seen before called Black Woman. <laughs> really? Was this from the people who bought you White Woman? <laughs> Honestly, I, I didn't know we had a scent, at least not one that could be legally bottled and sold. <laughs> Those who have been allowed to come within sniffing distance of a black woman will probably tell you that we usually smell like aggravation. <laughs> I was intrigued to see that this little gem was being sold in a dollar store located in a moderately affluent Caucasian community. <laughs> How odd. If they really want to know what a black woman smells like, wouldn't they just surreptitiously sniff their child's nanny? <laughs> I know that's not politically correct to say or even a truly accurate measure. I mean, everyone knows that Caribbean black women smell differently from American black women. The former smell like sugarcane and curry. The latter smell like collard greens and sweet potatoes. <laughs> African women, by the way, being closer to the source, smell like Europe. <laughs> it's, it's, it's subtle. It's very subtle. Uh, the picture on the bottle of black woman was a big incongruous. The model the manufacturer chose was fair-skinned with curly blonde hair. First of all, um, I'm not saying that no black woman has ever had natural blonde hair. The manifestations of miscegenation never cease to amaze. But it's certainly not representative of the group at large. Second of all, blonde-haired black women are so 90s. <laughs> What was truly curious was that the black woman pictured on the bottle was smiling. Really? I'm not saying that black women never smile, but we're not exactly known to be a happy-go-lucky group. You usually only get to see our teeth when we're grinning them, or when we're open-mouthed chewing on the souls of men who have done us wrong, and have the temerity to think they can walk away unscathed. I often thought a dominatrix is the perfect job for a black woman. You get to wear stylish clothes and cuss people out? Sweet honey in the rock, where do I sign? <laughs> Curiously, the bottle of black woman that I picked up wasn't marked tester, and yet it was only half full. Hmm, evaporation? I think not. I pictured primarily Caucasian customers literally spritzing themselves with this liquid gold, hoping to vicariously gain all the things that we black women are rumored to have in abundance. Strength, wisdom, limber neck muscles. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, I saw that the label on the bottle didn't just read black woman, it read our version of black woman. Hmm, so it's based on an actual perfume? How in the world did this slip by me? Who approved this? Clearly, I missed a very important meeting. A quick internet search revealed black women's fragrance by Kenneth Cole. The 3.4 ounce Eau de Parfum spray retails at $42. That makes the two ounce dollar store knockoff quite a bargain. But really, Kenneth, is this homage or mockery? What were you sniffing that made you think this was a good idea? And this is where the internet has its limitations. There are no scratch and sniff web pages, and I refuse to make a special trip to the mall just to see what Mr. Cole thinks I smell like. <laughs> see, not even famous black women who hawk their own brands of perfume go so far as to say that their product has captured the scent of the system. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the one by Queen Latifah, called, of course, Queen. It smells like Freddie Mercury. 
Since the dollar store version of Black Woman was so affordable, I bought it. And no, it was not as advertised. It smelled like a Spanish dude. <laughs> but that's okay. I love Teresa. <laughs>